Okay, so we finished it up. We placed these uh, canvas sheets over the top of it. And they're just tied off on the post there. Uh, in the meantime, I did this paper patio, so uh, if you want to see how that's done, subscribe, stick around. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out really well, all things considered. Um, I like the feel of it. These canvas just go over, under, over, under. Tied off on this side and then uh, tied off here at the end. Real simple. I, I wanted to put shutters wooden shutters that would go like that and you could pull on a little thing and they would all open and close but the wife thought this would be simpler and yeah I guess it is <laughs> yeah so this uh, we just tested it uh, during lunch and this provided a lot of shade underneath here makes it so much nicer having the pergola uh, one thing I didn't make clear in the video is I used uh, I used five, uh, six inch and ten inch 3 8 lag bolts, uh, galvanized, uh, to secure uh, these posts uh, both to the underframe. Uh, so there was a po couple posts underneath that I could tie that L shape uh, that was put underneath here. I could tie it together with those 3 8 uh, 10 inch lag bolts. Same with this side, there's uh, four lag bolts securing it both to this uh, 2x8 and the corresponding 6x6 six six post underneath it. And all in all, super steady. Originally we had this set up uh, to act as a swing. Uh, there's going to be a uh, kind of a sofa swing placed there uh, as soon as I get time to build it. Um, and that was originally all there was going to be, uh, but then we were out here in the sun uh, with some friends for the first time at six o'clock at night and it was just blistering hot uh, no shade so yeah pergola yeah so this patio paver patio we put in in about th it took us three weeks I think of uh, on again off again working digging it out putting the crushed gravel putting the one inches one inch of sand um, this is repurposed a uh, guy on Craigslist said it's free come and get it so we got all of these and all of those yet <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how this was done, subscribe, stay tuned, and uh, I'm going to have a video on this at some point. And then, of course, this is just a little bush. It is not a tree for those freaking out. All in all, the deck was $2,000. The pergola was, uh, if you build that into it, so we'll call this $2,500 for all of that. And then I think close to... 200 for this. The bricks were free. The gravel was 160 and the sand was like 40 bucks, I think. Um, and the bricks were free. Uh, two bags of grout, five bucks each. And that's it. Not a bad backyard from the mud pit that it was. Just, I've been building this thing since May. <laughs> oh, I probably got about 100 hours in this, I would say. At any rate, we'll see how she holds up to the test of time. Uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time.